Okay, this how-to video is gonna show you how to use the gloss command inside the Cadence PCB tools. So what is glossing? Um, glossing allows you to kind of run a series of commands that will just tidy up some of the routing, whether that's been done from the automatic router, whether that's done with you manually doing some interactive routing, maybe you've done an ECO change and you've left some kind of C-line segs like this type of thing that aren't on the net. You don't wanna to have to manually go and work and find all of these. There are report files which will find these, but Let's get the tools to automatically get rid of all of these for us and, and correct out things like these 90 degree corners and maybe sort out some of this routing. This is maybe a little bit extravagant. So if you look at the root menu, uh, we've got a gloss command and then we've got parameters. So we can run different different parts of the, the glossing control. So we can do things like viral eliminate, which will effectively delete things like vias. We can look at centering lines between pads. Uh, we can look at uh, converting corners to arcs. So lots of different options here. It's worthwhile having a look at these when you get chance. You can run these individually, each as a command, or you can run multiple glossing commands in one go. Uh, I'm just gonna run a line smoothing command, so let's have a look at the settings for that. That should resolve most of the issues that I've discussed uh, at the beginning of this video. So if we look at the options, things like bubbles, jogs, dangling lines, no net dangling lines, I wanna remove all this type of stuff, maybe smooth some of these options get rid of some of these corners. So we'll click OK. We'll then click on the gloss command. And you can see the C line segments get removed. Um, the 45 degrees or the 90 degrees have been converted to 45s. And it's sorted out all my entries for my little pads where I was a little bit extravagant from a routine point of view.